So coming up for the Series 50%, you're going to get the Ready to Rock Mustang and at 80%, the 1974 Toyota Celica. Moving on to summer, at 50% you'll be getting the Renault Clio and at 80% the beautiful Ford GT40. Now for our first photo challenge of the series, it is hashtag train spotters where you need to take a photo of your car with the viaduct. Now this is a landmark that could be seen for miles out so um, definitely have a lot of fun with that and make sure you post your favourite photo challenge and your best on our social media using the hashtag. Fantastic. For, so you'll be able to get your chance to get the Plymouth Fury. That's a rear red car that's not in the auto show at the moment by completing Summer Games. And also some, uh, some awesome legendary clothing in the trial as well as lots of cool seasonal PR stunts. But we have our first new exclusive car, and that is the 1992 Bentley Turbo R. So if you're after driving a bit of luxury, make sure you check out the Sun Never Sets season event in summer. It's an absolutely beautiful car that we'll be covering later in the show. And also, you'll be able to get a chance to get the Lexus LFA, which is another rare car in the old school chic season event. Moving on to autumn, we have another new car that we're adding, and that is the awesome Jaguar I-Pace, an all-electric SUV that we'll be talking about later in the stream. At 80%, you'll be getting the 1992 Toyota Supra, and the photo challenge is hashtag flight of fancy. So take your car to the Greendale airstrip and take your coolest photo. Really cool thing about this location is there's lots of stunts, um, so have a lot of fun with that one. We're really excited to see what you can post online. The Trial 99 Luft Saloons will give you the chance to get the BMW Z4, another really rare car, and we have a showcase remix that we're bringing back. That is the Pillar of Autumn, the amazing Halo showcase, but this time it is in autumn as the name suggests. And a lot of a bit of a mix here, so we've got um, a really old Napier Railton uh, classic car in the An Old Hand Season event, and if you want to go for something uh, very much the opposite, you've got the Aston Martin Vulcan AMR, a beautiful car and awesome livery, so very much two sides of the spectrum there, but both really, really cool cars in those season events, so make sure you check those out. Moving on to winter, at 50% we've got the Ferrari F40C, and at 80% we have the Bugatti Devo, and if that wasn't enough, there's loads more stuff lined up for winter, but that alone is super, super cool. The photo challenge is hashtag buddy up. So you need to take a photo of your car with another player or driver tar. Now, if you don't want to take a photo with um, another real person, driver tires will work just fine. But we're really looking forward to seeing uh, what you do with this one because you can do anything in, uh, in the game with this one. Uh, you've got the chance to win the Renault Clio, and that is in the Winter Games. We've also got a chance to get the Hammer H1 in the Save by the Bell trial, along with lots of cool PR stunts. Uh, but we have another exclusive car, and that is the Land Rover Velar. You'll be able to unlock that in the Tiding Rover season event, and we'll be covering that later in the stream, so make sure you tune in. Not only that, you get a chance to get the Illumo Craft Forza Edition in the Bounce Out season event. And the Ford Racing Puma is coming back. Another really rare car you can't get in the auto show. And you can get that by doing the Ice Rally Season event. Last but not least, in spring, at 50%, you'll get the chance to get the McLaren F1. And at 80%, the Alpine A110. The photo challenge is hashtag going off road, and you just need to get yourself an off road car and take a photo of it. And and the, the kind of reason behind this one, a lot of our photo challenges have you go to a specific location or they have a specific landmark, but we wanted to give you more freedom for this one, uh, especially going in an off road car in spring where everything is muddy and wet. Uh, so, yeah, have a lot of fun with that one. Really excited to see what you post online. Make sure you use the hashtag going off road for a chance to be featured on a future live stream. And the welcome to the 60s trial will get you the Volkswagen Gear, uh, another really awesome car. And we've got the another showcase remix coming back, which is the Supersonic versus Superfast. Obviously, the Ferrari Supervast versus the Delta Wing. Really, really fun showcase to check out there. We've got some classic cars here, the Ferrari 166MM and the Maserati A6G CS 
in those uh, scene events there. And also a chance to get the Nissan Pulsar in the V for Volvo season event. Now, our monthly rivals will have you in the iPace, so if you don't want to wait until autumn to get your hands behind the wheel, make sure you check out the monthly rivals as well. And that lifts, uh, that is everything for Festival Playlist. So, yeah, three awesome cars and loads of really rare cars chucked in at the same time. Hope you have a lot of fun with it. Say it's just three new cars and just all of this just, really fun just stuff. Just loads of cool and fun that's stuff. Why yes. And all of the ridiculous puns that are in there. But anyway, that's a completely <laughs> different yeah. live stream update so let's dive into them shall we yeah um, yeah wonderful right well talking of cars we've kept you on tender hooks we've obviously revealed that there are three brand new cars coming with this update so let's dive into them shall we yes let's do it so let's start with the Bentley Turbo R this is the 1992 version and this was kind of the ultimate Bentley when it came out there were actually two versions of this car there was the Brooklyn uh, and the Turbo R. And the biggest difference being that the Turbo R was a lot quicker, it was a lot more fun. So we've added that to Horizon. It's got a six and three quarter litre Rolls turbocharged V8 and it does naught to 60 in about six seconds. Now, what people don't know about these cars uh, is, especially in this era, they were all fully hand built and there was a real luxury that came with owning uh, a Bentley. You get a really, really high quality interior that they're known for, and as well as a great performance. So, as you can see here, just looking on the inside of the car, there's loads of leather trims and wood trims. There's actually on the side here, you can see there's like a wood trim with a wood trim on top of it. It's like wood trim inception. It's really, really cool. Um, had leather seats that were heated, again, big luxury at the time. Um, even at the back, if you were driving uh, in the back of the car, you had lovely, fluffy floor mats um, that felt really, really well done. There were some wooden trays, and it, just the overall feel was just really classy. Um, a really cool thing about this car as well is it actually had two car horns. You could genuinely change the car horn in real life. Uh, and obviously you can do that now in Forza Horizon 4. You can put a Windows, Windows XP shutdown in this car if you want. But at the time, that was pretty cool. Uh, so you can get your hands on this. Uh, by completing the Sun Never Sets Seasonal Championship in summer. So if you're after driving in a bit of luxury, put on Timeless FM, listen to some classical music, uh, you can do that. I think what I'm going to do, I'm probably going to take this to a street race because that just feels so ludicrous, taking a Bentley <laughs> to a street race. And uh, I, I, I totally want to do that. But it kind of speaks <laughs> to the freedom that we offer at Horizon. So uh, yeah, have a lot of fun with this one. Okay, cool. Let's move on to the I-Pace. So this is the first all-electric drag, and that's a really big move from Jaguar first And it kind of signals a big change where the big manufacturers are heading. They're really prepared to go all in on electric cars. And um, it does 0 to 60 in about four and a half seconds, all-wheel drive, and it's got a, t a top speed of 124 miles per hour. So the acceleration isn't anything to be sneered at. It's only, it came out last year, um, but it's already won numerous awards. It's got the best electric powertrain, the best new engine, and it won an award at the International Engine and Powertrain of the Year Awards. Um, so already it's, it's packing a punch, and it's all powered by a 90 kilowatt lithium ion battery. Now in real life, that would get you around 298 mile range. Obviously in Horizon, we don't track that, so you can drive as long as you want. Um, <laughs> Thank but, uh, yeah, yeah, thankfully, thankfully there is no, uh, we we, there is no battery mechanic here. Um, <laughs> really cool interesting story about the, the I-Pace. There's actually a racing version called the I-Pace Trophy. And if you haven't seen pictures of it, you should definitely look it up because it looks really cool. It's basically the, the track version of this car. Now, they actually pushed that to its limits. They pushed the battery um, to its limits as well. And they found that they got more performance and more range from it. Uh, so much so that they actually did an update to the regular I-Pace uh, to release more of the battery's performance, so you've got more range. I kind of like that, you know, they, the, this car got better because they decided to take it out and race it on the track, and, um, right. you know, only good things can come from stories like that. So yeah, totally. <laughs> you, can get this, you can get this by uh, completing 50% season completion in autumn, and it's also our monthly rivals car. Uh, let's move on to the Land Rover Velar. Last but not least, this is the, uh, this car kind of sits between the entry-level Evoque and the sort of higher-end Range Rover Sports. It's got a 3 liter engine, and the one we've got in Horizon is a supercharged V6. So it's got a nice brake horsepower of around 380. 
kind of really like the look of this one. It's got really nice and smooth, slim down style, and it doesn't do anything to ante up any off-road design quirks. It's very uh, slim and sleek. Um, it's more tailored to the road, but it can still handle off-road really well, and that helps in Horizon if you can't take your corners properly, like me. So if you spin out, you'll be fine both on the road and off the road. And uh, yeah, there's, there's quite a cool story behind the name of this, so Villar. Um, throughout its entire production, um, Rover didn't really want this leaking to the press, so they, they actually registered a fake um, factory down the road from where they manufacture these and registered all their cars underneath that. And then the reason being is that the, um, the registration plate would hopefully not be recognized by the local uh, press. And um, so it was very sort of like very hidden, very under the wraps. And uh, there was a suggestion that came from one of the family members of a senior manager at Rover, his Italian wife, and she suggested that the name should be Villar because that comes from the Italian name, uh, excuse my pronunciation, but Villari, um, which means hidden. And, and so there's kind of, you know, even just from the name and the way it was produced, everything was was well under wraps. I don't know if it actually leaks or not, but um, they definitely tried to uh, keep it under wraps. And you know, the name carries through. It's a cool name, and um, yeah, so yeah, that's that. how we got the name. I'd love to be the person that named a, a car like that. It's uh, very, very cool. <laughs> and you, you, you can win this um, by completing the Tiding Rover Seasonal Championship in winter. Uh, and that wraps us up with the three cars that we are adding in the Series 26. But super excited for you to all get your hands on those. So make sure you check out Festival Playlist. Yeah, we even learned some brand new knowledge there. I love that last fact. Yeah. I love like the, the idea of how 